Hello, my name is Peter. I'm going to show you how landlords and sole traders can make their quarterly ITSA MTT submissions from Excel using 123 Sheets. There are two ways we allow this at present. One, the user continues with their existing bookkeeping spreadsheet but adds our filing template to that. Or two, the user completes their record keeping on our Excel bookkeeping file. To see how that works in practice, I will show you a landlord completing a quarterly filing with his own spreadsheet. Then I'll show you a sole trader using our bookkeeping spreadsheet. Okay, so uh, first of all the landlord would download our default worksheet from our website um, and then they will uh, pick that up uh, and drag and drop that into their property bookkeeping spreadsheet. Then using a digital link they will transpose the numbers so that they appear in the default worksheet that he's just downloaded. Um, so that's the income and there aren't any other income in this particular example. Um, then there's some property repairs and renewals and there were some professional fees uh, letting agent management fees and there was also some residential finance costs the uh, interest on the mortgage there we are and the profit at the top 2941 and the property also has 2941 okay that's good let's save that then the user will go to our website, log in, um, and come to the self-assessment page, returns to do, and they can see that uh, the first quarter has been filed already, and they've got their three outstanding quarterly submissions still left to do. Um, so let's file the second one of those. And it's a non-holiday let, and we're using the default spreadsheet. <coughs> um, now we just go and choose the file, and upload those figures. And here they are populated in here. Yeah, 2941. That's great. And then we file it. Okay, so uh, now we'll do the filing for a uh, sole trader who's decided to use our bookkeeping spreadsheet. Um, they've entered their um, income and their purchases and uh, various other entries, capital allowances, and so on. Um, and they, ha they want to file their income tax quarterly submission. I can see they've already done their first one. Their second one is ready. They've confirmed that the uh, period is now closed. Uh, those figures are uh, correct and uh, uh, cannot be deleted or adjusted or edited in any form. Um, and uh, we can either run normally for uh, filing uh, to HMRC, we just generate the summary report, which just generates the uh, totals that HMRC is after. Um, but I'll show you the detailed report just so you can see uh, what that does as well. Um, so it creates a PDF file. Um, that helps uh, to ensure that the user cannot uh, accidentally mess around with the figures. Um, and here's the summary page with uh, the total figures, the disallowed amounts, the allowed amounts, some personal use on a couple of uh, types of uh, uh, expense categories. Um, and then uh, there is a uh, sort of list um, of the transactions. Uh, so 810 was the total on the summary sheet for the sales, for example. Um, dates, reference, uh, narrative, um, total disallowed, allowed, it's all here, um, all nicely categorized there. Uh, if I go back to the top of the file, uh, you'll see that the final HMRC upload has a loss, there's a minus figure there, of £12,500. So now what we want to do is to upload that PDF to the, uh, the uh, 123Sheets website. We can close that spreadsheet. Okay, um, so here are the four submissions uh, that the um, self-employed person has to file. We can see they've done the first one already, so let's go ahead and file the second one. So um, <clears throat> yeah, they choose the one, two, three sheets PDF. 
um, that we generated we saw earlier. We could either drag and drop it into here or we can just choose the file. Here it is there. And we upload the figures. And we will see, oh yeah, there's the 110, uh, 810 sales that we noted before. And oh yeah, there's the £12,500 loss. Then we tick the confirmation box. We're happy those figures are correct. The disallowed and the allowed amounts. And we click on file return.